Hi, I'm Jody Marr. I am a professional songwriter and producer, um, sometimes A&R person, talent development specialist, so they say. Uh, I also teach commercial songwriting at Belfast's partner, Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, I'm happy to be a part today of the 17th, I believe it is, Pan Arts Belfast Nashville Songwriters Festival and Convention, even if we are online. Um, yeah, and I'd like to share with you a little bit uh, of some of what I know about artist development, what that is, and maybe some tips on how you can uncover the artist that you are and develop your identity through your songs. So let me just share my little screen here for you. And we'll get started. Start the Belfast Writers Festival and Convention. Artist development, I'd like to talk to you about today is building your artist identity from your songs. So what is artist identity, anything? What is artist development? I know you hear a lot of this. Um, I like to think of it as um, finding the happy medium, the me medium ground between the things artists are always struggling with, which is, well, this. You're constantly between trying the mainstream, popular, what is it, what's working in the market, and also being who you are, standing your personal and creative ground. It's not always easy. What takes a while to learn is how to be uniquely you in your songs and be afraid to be that, even if it's not what's happening right now, right? And I'll tell you a secret. I've made a lot of records, and most great artists that break through have been uniquely themselves and not trend followers. So the question becomes, who are you? I always like to say to artists, um, Really, the easiest thing to be who you actually are, only magnified, 30 feet tall. Be the largest version of you you can be. Just be you only bigger, right? Because there's only one you, and that's what you should be celebrating in your songs and in your work. So as the quote you're seeing on your screen says, I think you know who you are. It's a question of maybe uncovering that and Consciously focusing on your songwriting um, to showcase who that is, and what makes you different. So anyone here ever feel different outside of what's popular? Maybe you just don't vibe with the top 10 songs right now feel like maybe what you're writing is outside of that. Maybe you just don't relate to it. Well, if so, you have a lot in common with a lot of great artists. They often feel like maybe I don't fit in with what's happening right now, and that's just fine. Um, but let me pull a little thing up here. The big secret artists are always shocked to find out is that the thing that makes you different that's what people like me want to see. When the hundreds of songs that are sent to me every month, um, the ones that have that something special, that something different, that bravery to be something different, that's what sticks out. That's what sticks out. Um, one of my writing trips to the UK, my then publisher, Sony, um, I was just on the back of a lot of big award wins with an artist called Mika, who I developed. Sony took me around uh, to all the hot artists and the new signings to try to get me in the rooms with people. And then they played me an artist um, that they just had on their roster that wasn't the top of their focus called Paloma Faith. And I said, I want to write with that one. Put me in the room with her. Um, there was something about her that was just different. And uh, we got together the next day and we wrote her first hit single that was called New York, which I also produced. But something about her home demos that they play um, really, really um, struck a chord in me because there was a real artist there, a real artist who didn't really care what anybody else sounded like. She had her own voice and her own poetry and she still does. So that thing that makes you interesting to the talent gatekeepers, to the ones that can change your life and give you those opportunities, um, that different stuff, that's what we want to hear. Don't try to be like anyone else. 
So how can you reflect that unique you-ness in your songs? Um, well, there's a couple bullet points we can go through today I'd like to sort of walk you through, which is one, find your sound, right? Easier said than done. How do I find my sound? I don't necessarily mean production. Um, you find it through your songs. So you have to try to write lots of songs, right? You have to try to write real songs. Um, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So find your sound and then find your single. You're going to have to try things out, write a bunch of songs, figure out which one's the lead one. Uh, and the third step in the process, find your sound, find your single, is showcase your personality, right? Show people who you are in your songs, in your interactions, in social media, in your interviews. All of this is a part of the identity of who you are as an artist, but it starts with the songs. So let's do a little thing I like to do with art called the artist uncovery process. Things to do in finding you. Where can we start with that? Let's see. Let me share a little thing. Here's a couple of things we can do together here today, which is this. First of all, try brainstorming who know your music, who come to see you perform, um, try out all different kinds of songs. Ask people whose opinion you reject. What's my best song? What song is most me? Ask other songwriters, artists who you respect that are in your circle of influence. Because you'll be surprised sometimes what you think is your best song. Uh, Maybe song, but it might be the, not be the best song for you. What you think is the best song for you might not be. Maybe there's a song that you just set that people or that your closest friends know is the most you. Also in that search, you want to try things on your size. Try different kinds of songs. Try writing outside of your normal genre. Um, try writing to track. Try writing without a track. Stretch your capabilities. Challenge yourself as a writer and see what comes out the other side. List lots of music and see what comes out the other side. Most important, what if then you think? What if you're more than you think you are now? If you're writing the same kind of song every day, um, you may discover some you didn't know you inside to an artist. That's why I love rights. Um, collaborations can sometimes bring out thing in you you're not sure that you had. It's, it's a process. Um, but let's do a thing that I like to call the state. I'm going to read a little something that's an excerpt from a chapter in my book, Jody Marr from Songwriter to Star, that was coming out hopefully next year. Um, give you a little sneak peek today, but it's something I do with artists. I hope that you'll enjoy them and just read you a little excerpt here. So if you were on a first date, what would you ask this person to find out a little more about who they are? Someone you were interested in getting to know. Also, what would you share? What would you tell this person who you really are trying to impress a little bit and show your fabulousness, right? What kind of things would you, would you show about yourself when, you're, when you want somebody to have the opportunity to get to know you? Okay, let me read you a little bit of this. Uh, if you were on a first date or a first meeting with an intriguing person, what are some questions you would ask to get to know them better? Can you ask yourself the same questions? How about for starters? So what's your story? Where are you from? Hey, what brings you to Belfast? What do you do in your spare time? Perhaps you might dig deeper and ask, what are you passionate about? It's a good one, right? What are you passionate about? What was your best day ever? How about that? What's something you want to learn or wish you were better at? What's your biggest regret? Do you know the answers to these questions about yourself? Write them down. What would the answers to these questions tell you about this other outside you if you could ask yourself as if it were a first date? In other words, what makes you tick? How would you describe you and your life so far if you had to tell someone else, who, someone you were interested in about your life? Here's a couple of exercises maybe you could try. If you had to paint a picture of you for someone who mattered to you, where would you look for details? What do you remember about the story of you? Try to think back. What is your earliest memory? 
What's your earth memory? What places from your childhood can you close your eyes and recall? Which specific days or events come to mind? Try to recall a specific memory with a specific person from a time in the past. What do you see? What do you hear? What smell, taste, touch? Use all of your senses. When you place your setting in your mind, what's there? Do you hear music? Specific song? I'm back there. What does how you feel about it and about you? Where are you going to? Where have you inspired? To start to yourself and what you have songs as you don't know. In today's world, never, if you don't are. You won't form, and I'll tell you, artists, you don't have this to form in if you know this stuff yourself. If you're an artist of what Eve, what does my art want to reflect? Know that art has power, and that you have power through your art. Your thoughts will never come to where they're supposed to be if you don't have opinions and you don't know it. Your thoughts will never come to light in any other person at any other time in history in the way they will be born through you. Know your mind, hear your thoughts. Don't keep them inside. Put them in your music. Develop the work ethic it takes to turn what you think about into something tangible that the world can discover and discuss. Then watch the magic of art in action. Your story spreads the message your art has to deliver. Knowing your story gives you a platform to talk about that in detail from your unique point of view and place and time in your life. Go inside and get back to the beginning. Do you have a story to tell? Have you written it yet? What is the story you have to tell? What is the story you must tell? Chase that question, and that becomes the story you will tell if you put in the work. Here's a story starter for you, a little exercise you can try as part of this artist uncovery and chasing down the songs you need to write to show the world who you are through your music. Here's one. Get out a journal or a legal pad and write out longhand, please, with a pen or pencil because it slows you down. Write out every detail you can recall about your earliest memory. Do you remember sounds, visuals, who was there with you? How did you feel? Write that down. That's one. Here's another one. Write down five conversation starter questions you might ask on a first date or first meeting with an intriguing person. Answer them yourself. See if you can't find a song title in there somewhere or at least five good lines, words, or a concept to jot down in your idea book and see where that takes you, okay? You can ask yourself uh, questions. I do a thing with artists I call the artist uncovery interview, and I ask them a whole ton of questions similar to the inside the actor studio questionnaire, personality questionnaire. Um, questions like this, what's your first musical memory? Uh, what's the first song you remember knowing the words to? What's your favorite music now? What do you love besides music? Uh, let's see, which songs, artists, or albums changed your life? Where do you get your inspiration? Beyonce or Aretha, or both? Marilyn or Jackie O? Classical or pop? Do you get the idea? Ask yourself some questions to see what you can uncover about yourself. Um, if somebody said, if you were me, Jody Marr is the new blank. Who would that be? Are you the new Dua Lipa? Are you the new Beyonce? 
When you met Sheeran, who are you? How would you feel in that blank? Because trust me, you will be asked that question and it's a terrible question. It's a hard one to answer. So think about it before you get asked. What was the best moment of your life so far? What was the worst moment of your life so far? Ask yourself these kinds of questions. Try to uncover who you are inside and what matters to you, what you really want to talk about. And talk about that in your music. Okay, just a few more things, and then I want to talk specifically about uh, releasing a single to EP, the collection of music, okay? Um, let's see. Let's talk about branding for a minute. Brand is a word that I strongly dislike. Um, what does branding mean to you? It's annoying, right? Because it means that uh, we're supposed to think about our art as a product, like we're selling hamburgers or lipstick. Um, in a way, you know, we are. There is a market attached to the art that we make. But what I'd like to say to you about that is who decides what your brand is? Who decides what Jody Mar music means? Let it be you. Don't depend on a producer, an a &R person, a manager to tell you. You tell the world what you are. What does it mean to be you? What is your music? Who decides? Let it be you, okay? And be fearless about that. Um, but don't become the brand. Don't put the cart before the horse. Um, focus on the songs first. Um, and that's what I'd like to talk about for the, the back half of this discussion today. Uh, I'd like to leave you with one, one last thing about this like, question of identity and uncovering it is um, the easiest story for you to tell is the real one, is the one that includes your perceived flaws, your perceived frailties, what you may think are frailties, that what makes you approachable and real like the rest of us. Think about Ed Sheeran. Doesn't he seem like the guy you could just go down the pub with and have a beer? Of course he does. It's part of his likability. It's actually part of who he is. It's what makes him popular. It's what makes people love his music on top of the fact that his music is amazing. Um, so what makes you approachable? What makes you real? Be that. Don't be a brand. Don't be something invented. Be who you are. Let fans want to cheer for you beyond your debut single, right? You want them to be invested in who you are so that they continue to follow your music. Um, a couple other things to do. Things to think about, things to write about. Uh, another exercise you could do is get out your songbook or, or something that you write ideas down in and think about the times that you live in. If you were making a time capsule, you know, what's going on in the world today? There's a lot going on in the world today, right? It's a great time to be a songwriter, great time to be a young songwriter. Um, artists have opinions. What's yours? You know, what's yours? Um, write down what's happening around you in the world that bothers you, that inspires you, that angers you, uh, that gives you joy. Document that. You're going to want to remember that later. You may not write that song today, but you might want to write it later on. But if it affects you, if you're passionate about it, write it down. It's something that should live in your music. Um, let's see, what else? What gets to you? What do you feel a reaction to? What do you love? What do you hate? What's important to you? What can you not leave unsaid? What can you not leave unwritten? Um, what sums you up? Who are you? Try to make a vision board. I don't know if you know what a vision board is, but try that. I always have artists do that. Put your wishes down. Um, wish them into realities. Organize them. Organize your thoughts and your dreams and your goals. Um, okay? Agreed? Can we do that much so far? Okay. So let's talk a little bit about um, writing the album, EP, or collection, okay? Let me bring up a... Okay. And we're back. Okay. Let me get this up for you. Writing the EP or collection. Here we go. What's in it? Well, you're putting to whatever length you need an EP, obviously you're going to think about that single that comes first. But as you're writing, you're not going to write them in order necessarily. These are some things I like to see in a collection of music, whether it's a professional full-length um, release or just an EP that you're putting out independently. Um, I like to think of them as vignettes, little small pieces of stories, little tiny vignette stories that make up a larger novella. Um, so think of it as a collection, truly a collection. They should be, they should be uh, related, tied together in some ways. They were going to be chapters in a book or vignettes in a novella. Um, 
you have moment songs. Songs that are just about a small moment in time. It's a great exercise to try to write one of those. Write a song about a moment in time, a specific moment, just that small thing. Put a lens over something very small and write a song about that. Maybe it's something, a memory. You could write from memory, perhaps. Your, your grandparents' house, your kiss. Um, try to con- consider that in a collection of music it should be a varied tempo. There's a balance of tempos. You don't want all your BMs to be the same. You don't want all tempo ballads. You don't want all up tempos either, right? You want to have a mood that moves and chills and breathes in a collection of music. Even if you're writing singles, it's as if they can be related in some way because they are creating your voice. They are creating your brand, for lack of a better word, right? Your sound. So balance the tempo, balance the energy, balance the story. You don't want all of song unless it's a collection, unless it's a love songs or something. Um, you want to balance that. Keep it interesting. Each one is an opportunity to read a little bit more about you. Each song should be about who you are as an artist or the other. Um, so I always thought there's the light and the love me angles. There's uh, sometimes first there'll be the like me single that draws people in. And then there's the love me one, right? You have Ed Sheeran and the A-Team and then you have, you know, Photograph or Castle on a Hill. You want your fans to be invested in you and to keep cheering you and to keep wanting to listen to your music after your first single. So this is why thinking of your first release as a collection, if it's an EP or a full length, um, there's certain things I'd like to kind of say. In, but your song's going to say like me. And one can say love, and they do love, and they're in. Then you want to love you. You want to show the depth of what you have to offer as an artist through your following releases. So I could think of, and this is just a general kind of technology to think of it. If I'm making a full record and an art person or producer, I feel like I like to this stuff in the record, particularly if collection of music is a debut. Um, you want to have the reveal. You want a song that feels like a, a, a revelation, a confession, something to admit from the artist, whatever that is. Something that reveals something about the arts. Um, the opener. I want the one that opens the record. Could be big single, could be up, but could be a ballad. Could be someone like you, Adele. Could be, um, I don't know, Kelly by Mika. But something you want that you could use as a concert opener, right? Whether it's slow or fast, what would open a show, right? Also, I think it's nice to have something funny or comical or whimsical in a collection of music. What song you could that would be that would reflect a little bit of your whimsy? And you might say to me, well, I'm a dark the character i have no whimsy well then write that you know respond to the humans the comical in the world something musical, something light. um then i like to always have in a collection something i call car commercial like the Volkswagen car commercial some tempo windows down you know breeze background sunny day um feel good song whatever feel good means to you okay because not everybody writes this some kind of happy song um something that you could specifically think of would be used film and television sync because nowadays more likely for a new independent artist um your first shot be in a film advert or tv advert or something um so i like to try to artist write one you know write something that feels Good, that has a, something that's a mood, you know? It can be a pop, it can be a bear, whatever, but something a mood, right? That feels good to hear. Um, and obviously, I'd like to have an anthem from, me, from an artist, whether it's a summer song or not, something in anthemics, things singing, something stadium. Um, I know these times of COVID, we're gigging as we usually do, uh, but we will be. We will be. And, uh, you know, I say as if, you know, just prepare and plan to be playing arenas, plan to be Bonnaroo, plan to be at the summer festivals all over the world and intend on it and prepare for your song. So write a song that works for that. Why not? If you think it's coming, you'll make it happen. So write a song for it. Okay, let's do that. But then I like the quirky song, you know, if quirky's your, your jam. Write me a quirky song for your collection um, or topical song, if that's your thing. Um, there's certainly a lot going on in the world to talk about. And like I said before, artists have opinions, right? So um, write me a topical song, an opinion about something, your collection. That's going to also reveal a bit about who you are the artist. First song, something conventional, something intimate, something you open a shift with. 
right? What would feel right to you physically in front of your fans to open the show with? The funny, what's something whimsical about you? What's something lighthearted you could share? What will, what will make your fans feel fun and whimsical? Then the car commercial song, what could you logistically use for an advert? But also more importantly, what would be a great feel-good song? Your fans want to hear that. What makes you good? Right about that. Uh, like I said, summer song, anthem, something that's all about everybody dancing with their hands in the air. The quirky song or topical song, right? Something about what's happening around you, have opinion. Um, but most of all, the most important song the one that can define your artist voice, the Who You Are song, any Winehouse Cab song, the Mika Kelly song. You know, what song can only you sing? What's identifiable as unique to you? One second, Let's talk about this one more minute. Okay, last but not least. Let's talk about this a little bit more before we go. Defining artistic voice. What's your career song? What's the one that defines your identity? Out of all the things I'd like to see in a collection of music from a new artist, the most important is this one. What your debut will be? The word you, debut, debut, right? Your first coming out, first song, the first offering, the first handshake to your audience and your fans, what will that be, right? Think about it. What, what were the first songs you heard from your favorite artists? What made you love them and then you love them? What was the first introduction you had to define who they were? For? What will it be for you? Um, let's look at the list. Not any means then to be comprehensive, but my name is Eminem, I kissed a girl, Katy Perry. Hosier, take me to church, right? Call me maybe. Yes, even call me maybe. Radioactive gang style for that matter, right? Uh, radioactive, imagine John's happy fell, be one time, chasing pavements, Adele, right? Back to the first kiss, the first hand of these artists. Look how them songs are. All about that bait, about that bait, right? Is Megan that? Yes, she's grown from that. Is that totally, that totally tells who she was? And Mika's Grace Kelly, of course. Um, Amy Winehouse Rehab, Beatles Love You, Tale of, you know, Our Song, Love Song, Great Horse, right? Amy Spear, 14 years old, Oops, Cited It Again. M. Smith, Stay With Me. You know, sometimes it's the debut single. Sometimes it might be the second song. If you're lucky, it's the first one you release. It tells the world who you are. Um, Civil Wars, you can see our ambassadors, Renegade, and they're an A-team photograph, Castle on a Hill. Um, so you get the idea, right? These are songs that when they came out, kind of said, here I am world. Who but Amy Winehouse could have sang, could have sung Rehab? So here's my final question to you. Do you have a story to tell? Have you written that story yet? Not a song about the story, as it says on the screen, but the song about it. What is your story? The most important thing you can do as you get uncovered artist identity while writing songs toward the eventual release of an EP that may or may not use some of those types that I listed for you. The most important question you can ask yourself back to what I said in the beginning is, who am I? What am I passionate about? What do I have to say? What's different about me? What is the song about the story of me? That's how stars are made, right? How artists come out into society musically. Spend time thinking that and investigate that. Okay, that's how you'll tell the world who you are. You cover your identity song by song. You can talk about genre types of songs to have on a release. The best thing you can do for yourself and your art is to tell your song about each of the lines of songs I talked about releasing in a collection. What is it that's most you that only you can say? Here's a couple of activities I could leave you with that might get you started, a few more ideas. Write down a list of 10 adjectives to describe yourself. Artist. 
you were going to write a bio or an EPK or a one sheet, as we call them today, um, 10 adjectives, I'm bubbly, I'm fun, I'm crazy, I'm intelligent, I'm carefree, I'm dark, whatever that is. Write down 10 adjectives about yours and then try to write a song for each adjective. Just as an exercise, you come up with a winner. You might write a song about you, the song. Write a song about each one of those adjectives to address that as if it were a resume asking, you know, for Bob or asking someone on your show to appear on this. Um, can you write a song? It gives us an idea about who our little window into you. Um, another thing, go Google it, look online and list of the hit song released for your favorite 10 artists. You know, what song defined them and changed the world for them and introduced us to them? research that. What was their very first song? Whether you heard it or not, originally, you might have stumbled upon them later in the game. But what was the first song released by your favorite 10 artists? Start there. It might be a way to get yourself rolling on the path to uncovering your artist's identity. Uh, lastly, uh, if I can ever have any assistance, you can catch me online. I have a newsletter I put out. Um, and I'll give that link at the end. But what I'd like to mostly challenge you with today is find your way that identity, that debut song that tells the world about you, um, because that's the one that will change everything. Song by song, you give it thought, and you give thought into what you release when. Um, you'll let the world know who you are, and that's when the will start rolling. So thank you for listening to me today. Uh, you can find, you can contact me through jodymar.com. That's the website. Um, and have a weekly newsletter you can sign up for there. It should be at the top here. There's the, the link. Um, so anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of the festival. It's been wonderful to be here with you today. And I hope that you have a great time and learn a lot about songs and music. Most of all, be true to you and think about who you actually are and write songs from that place. I wish you luck on your travels. Go out there and change the world because songs don't change things. Songs change people and people change things. Have a good day.